Hi and welcome. In this lesson we'll learn about the tilt switch. Now the tilt switch, just as the name says, can control the output based on the way we tilt it. Now you probably can't hear it because the noise is very very silent but if we tilt it either right or left it will create certain noise. Now the noise will control whatever the output signal is high or low. As we can see the module has three pins. One is signal, one is VCC and one is GND. We close the circuit using the VCC and GND and we use the signal pin in order to receive input whenever the tilt switch tilt to one side or another. Now this is one side, this is another side and that way we can receive the tilt direction on the switch. Now let's move into our microcontroller and see how can we control this tilt switch to make certain applications. So here is the Arduino and we've connected the tilt switch right here. Now let's first understand how we've connected it. So as we've discussed earlier, the tilt switch has three pins. One is GND, one is VCC and one is signal. Now in order to connect it, it's pretty simple and straightforward. We took the VCC and connected it into 5V. We took the GND and connected it into GND. And the signal pin we've connected right here into pin number 7. It's very very straightforward and once you've connected it the LED should light up which means it's working. Now if you tilt left you will see no LED here is light up. If you tilt right you will see the LED light up left, right, left, right. This is normal behavior. Now let's go into our Arduino ID and see how can we program this sensor and get some input out of it. Now we are connected into our Arduino ID. As we can see, the tilt switch is right here, just at the place we left him before the lesson. Now, let's take a look at the code to understand better how does it work. First, we define signal pin as pin number 7. As we've defined it right here, we've plugged it into digital pin number 7. Then we put signal state as 0. This is just to indicate the first state is 0. This is a variable that can be changed. Specifically in our code, we don't use it. But, actually we do use it, I'm sorry about that, we do use it right here. We put into signal state a digital rate signal state. So here we initialize it with value 0 and later we get the signal state from digital read signal pin. Now let's take a look at the setup. We start a serial because we need to print some data such as right and left. So we need to begin the serial connection and then we initialize the pin mode signal pin as input. As we've discussed earlier our device is an input device not an output device. So we need to define this as an input. Now in the loop we get a signal state using the digital read signal pin and then if it's high we print right, if it's low we print left. We wait one second and we continue it in a loop. Let's upload the code and see what happens when we tilt it to multiple direction. So now we tilt it to the left as you can see here is left, left and then let's try to tilt it right, right. As we can see it prints the direction of the sensor left right, left, right. That's pretty much it. The sensor is very useful to know to which direction certain things are tilting, for example in smart cars or vehicles. This is a very useful application. Now once we have explained about the tilt switch, it's time to understand how can we connect it into a Raspberry Pi. Just a quick reminder, our tilt switch which is right here has three pins. One is the signal pin, one is the VCC, and one is the GND. Now, let's head over to our Raspberry Pi breadboard, which is right here, and take a closer look how it's connected. As we can see, right here we have the VCC pin, which is connected to 5 volt pin on the Raspberry Pi. Here we have two more pins. One is GPIO26, and one is GND. The GPIO26 is the yellow cable, which is the signal. And the GND is the black cable. Now let's put our breadboard back here. Now once we understand how the switch is connected, it's time to little explain how we're gonna do the code. The tilt switch is an input switch, which means it gives us an input how the switch is tilt, either left or right. There is no other option. Now we will set the GPIO as an input in order to receive this input. This is not an output device, we don't send signal into it, we get signal from it. Now when we understand how this works, 
and how it's connected to a Raspberry Pi, I think it's time that we will go into our Arduino IDE and we will try to into sorry our Raspberry Pi IDE and we will try to program the tilt switch and make it work all together. We are in our IDE right now. As we can see, we have the tilt switch right here with us. We discussed earlier how to connect it into a Raspberry Pi and how it works using digital pins. Now, let's take a look into our terminal right here. We need to find the file that called 07 tilt switch. Let's use the nano command in order to modify it. And then inside the file, let's explain step by step how does it work and what each command is doing. First, we will import the RPI GPIO library and then we will import the time library. We will define tilt switch as GPIO pin number 26. As we can see here, as we remember previously, the pin is right here, the yellow pin, GPIO number 26. Now, in this setup, we set up the GPIO mode as BCM and we set up as GPIO in. As we said, the tilt switch is an input device, not an output device. Then we add event to detect. If tilt is detected both high and low, call back to the detect function, which is right here. In the detect function, we find out wherever it's left or right, and we print tilt right or tilt left. Then we wait 0.5 seconds and try again to find if it's detected a tilt. We have loop to continue this whole software running until keyboard interrupt, and we have destroy to de clean up the GPIO so we can use it later. Now in the main program, we set up our, BC our GPIO here, then we run the loop, and if we detect keyboard interruption, we will clean the Raspberry Pi GPIO. Now, let's run the program by using the Python command, python 07 tiltswitchpy Now, let's pick up the tilt switch right here and tilt it. First, we will tilt it left. As we can see, it's printing tilt left. Then we will tilt it right. As we can see, it printed tilt right. Then we tilt left again, right again, left again, right again, and once again, left. As you can see, the sensor is working pretty well and can detect to which direction we tilt it. This is very useful in robotics and other applications that requires to determine to which direction the sensor or the whole application is tilted to. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will definitely see you next time.